So you wake up one day and you decide to play Fortnite, you hop onto the game and you're met with frame drops, pink spikes, packing loss and all these messy stuff. So that happened to me like a while ago and I didn't know what to do because I have a pretty good PC and I don't know why it's happening to me. But I figured out a way to boost your FPS incredibly fast and if you're looking for it, you're at the right video. Hope you guys enjoy. We're almost at 600 subscribers so please make sure to subscribe and yeah let's get started so for reference here this is how my fps is at the moment this is how my ping is in creative and i'll show you my ping in game in a second but after i did this optimization it worked perfectly fine for me and i'm not sure about laptop users but i tried it on my gaming laptop that was having a lot of fps issues and it worked perfectly fine for me so i hope it works fine for you too but yeah let's get started first thing we're gonna start with is your fortnite settings now what you guys will need to do is go to your settings go to display and we're gonna start from the top all the way down to advanced graphics so in display here in windowed mode you want to set it to full screen now it says in the description that it makes your game run slightly faster but it reduces input delay massively like trust me on this when i was running fortnite on windowed full screen you know you like it feels different when it's on full screen and windowed full screen so put that on full screen resolution now you can play around with this you can either play stretched or you can prefer native 90 uh, 1920 by 1080 but if you want a fps boost like desperately you can set it to 1, uh, 12, uh, 1280 by 720 now if I do it and I check my game it does slightly like boost my FPS by like 10 frames or like 5 frames but like since I'm recording it doesn't show that much but when I'm off screen it hits almost like 600 so you can also set that if you would like but I can run 1920 by 1080 Next up is frame rate limit. Now you want to set this to your monitor hertz. Now me personally I have a 280 but most of the time I set it on 240 but since I'm like showcasing I have it on unlimited since I like show you guys the FPS but you want to set this to your frame rate and if you feel like your FPS is a bit much higher for example you're at 60 hertz and you want a bit more frames you want you can set it to 120 if you're at 144 set it to 160 if you're at 165 you set it to 180 you don't know, just go one level above for me i have a 280 hertz so i set it to 360 or unlimited but 240 for me works the best because i can get a consistent 240 fps now after you've done that after you set it to your uh, hertz or whatever now for rendering mode you want to set this to performance mode now if you want a fps boost you have to set this to performance mode the uh direct x11 and direct x12 put pressure on your gpu and cpu so they reduce your fps so what you guys want to do is set this to performance mode when you put it it will ask you to restart the game just don't restart the game yet until we're done with all the settings now in the graphics section which is the color section i don't know why it's called graphics but you can set it to whatever it doesn't affect your fps these are my settings i put my brightness on 100 my color blind on this and my color blind strength on 10. now for this section here you just want to set this to whatever you're comfortable with whatever you feel is best but the only thing is it's your fps is going to be much lower so if you want the like desperately need fps you can set this to 50 percent but it's going to make your game look a bit like pixelated and stuff but it is actually very good for your fps so it's totally up to you but if i want to squeeze in a bit more fps and like ranked or in um tournaments and stuff I just put it to 80 since it's like a sweet spot 90 if i'm playing ranked normally and stuff so it's 90 doesn't look that pixelated but at the same time it's pixelated you know like it's sweet spot you know now you want to go back to your um 
uh, graphic quality you want to set your view distance on near if you don't play that competitively but if you play in a comp in the competitive scene you should set this to medium but in my case i don't like how it lowers my fps so i just set it to near for textures you want to put this to low show fps so you can see your fps now in this section here and this is greatly important for your ping you want to set this matchmaking region from auto to your servers now an auto is going to connect you randomly to a server from its own choosing if you get what i mean so you want to set this to your server for me it's middle east so i set it to middle east now go down and you want to turn off all the replay modes now turn everything here off everything and in energy saving is pretty self-explanatory just turn it off and press on apply now i don't want it to change my region or anything i don't want it to mess with my ping so just press apply and exit out of it so what you guys will need to do to download the optimizer is join the discord server first link in the description now after you've joined just go and click here now when you're here the link will be posted but i get a lot of messages on people telling me how do you use linkvertise how do you like download the file through link vertice so i'll be showing you guys how to do it now what you guys will need to do is click on the link that will be posted right after this video is uploaded with the video's thumbnail so it's much clearer just like i did in my other videos now after you click that link it will take you to another website which is it will take you to this website now here you want to click free access with ads and when this comes up just press on skip until you find something you're interested in it doesn't matter just click on anything now explore website and learn more now here you just want to scroll around the page for a few minutes wait for this timer to load you can like do whatever like, don't you don't even gotta watch just do whatever on the website you don't have to log in you don't have to do anything so when it's done i think it's around 30 to uh, 40 seconds of you exploring the website as they say just press on get the boost pack now when you press on it it will take you to the link vertice download now on this page what you guys will need to do is press on download wait for this to download now after it has downloaded just drag it to your desktop press on extract files if you don't have winrar it's also linked in the description press on ok wait for it to be extracted now double click on this folder now this won't show up for you so just ignore it the only thing you want to click is best fortnite fps booster link vertice.exe says application here and it has the logo so double click on it now after it has opened up what you guys would also need to do is press next skip all not accept skip all because this will start downloading ads for you and you don't want that so just skip all and press on open and as soon as you press on open it will take you to the download page for um the application we're using in this video just press download press on save and drag it to your desktop now i already have it but i'll still do it and here you go you can go ahead and delete these if you would like you know after you have downloaded echo x what you guys will need to do is run it as administrator now it says echo is no longer receiving updates uh would you like to install uh cow x just press n it's no press n again 
and here it will show up now what you guys would need to do here is just press on one which is optimize and it will start optimizing your pc from the inside it will do all these bio changes and for my pc it optimized 10 100 plus performance increase is 20 percent and latency decrease is 30 percent now press on b go to more which is two and you want to make sure everything here is on now press b and you're done so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with whoever needs it we're so close to 600 subscribers it will mean the world to me if you subscribe and yeah see you guys in the next video peace out